Hey guys, Chris from Adaptuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 4 from the May 2016 PUA Paper 2. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and the link in the description below. So be sure to check that out. And with that said, let's get into the solution. So as per usual, we're going to take a read of the question. So it says, Little People Furnishings is a manufacturer of tables and chair sets for toddlers. The following is a list of revenue and expenses for the year ended 31st December 2015. Okay. So let's take a look. So we have sales here. We have raw materials at start, purchases of raw materials, finished table and chair sets on hand. Okay, so that's stock of finished goods. We have factory workers' wages. We have office workers' wages, plant and machinery at cost, provision for depreciation on plant and machinery, fixtures and fittings at cost, and the associated provision for depreciation, and repairs to fixtures and fittings. Now, the following additional information was also provided at 31st December 2015. We have raw materials, that's closing stock of raw materials. This is the closing stock of finished goods. We have a license fee of $2 per set is to be paid for each of the 12,900 sets manufactured. So, so, um, so that's a license fee, that's a direct expense. All right, we have plant and machinery are to be depreciated at 70 through 60 for the year. So we didn't have to calculate it. All right, and then we are given, oh, this is interesting. So fixtures and fittings are to be depreciated at 20% per annum. Using a straight line method, all expenses related to fixtures and fittings are to be allocated 40% to factory, 60% to admin. So that's going to come into play later on. And they said all expenses. So we don't only have depreciation, we have these repairs to fixtures and fittings. Okay, so let's just take a peep and see what it is they want us to do. So we know exactly how to go about it. Okay, so they want us to prepare the manufacturing account for the year ended 31st December 2015, showing clearly each of the following. Cost of raw materials used, prime cost and production cost. Okay, sounds easy enough. So let's go back up to the information so we can see what goes in to this manufacturing account. Okay, so let's start it. So the first thing we're going to put is the cost of raw materials consumed. So that's going to start with our raw materials at start of 5,000. Then we're going to have the purchases of raw materials of 112 being added to that. That's going to give us the cost of raw materials available for use. From that, we're going to have to deduct the closing stock of raw materials of 90,000. That's going to give us 27,000. And that's the cost of raw materials used. What else goes inside this section? Prime cost section. Factory workers wages, right? Direct wages. And we also, don't forget this license fee of $2 per set for 12,900 sets. So that's going to be about 25,800, I believe, right? And that, if we total those three figures, we're going to get a total prime cost. Uh, now we have the overheads. Now let's take a look. So uh, <clears throat> down here, we have some depreciation. So let's see, it. There, is there anything else up here that goes before that? Now office workers are not manufacturing, manufacturing workers. So that information would not go in the manufacturing account. Remember, in the manufacturing account, you're only putting manufacturing related expenses. Okay, uh, Okay. so I'm, I'm not seeing maybe repairs to fixtures and fittings. So let's, let's see, what did I start with across here? So we have depreciation on the plant and machinery. So that's an easy one, right? Put in the easy stuff first, right? You get marks for what you have on the paper and there's no particular order the expenses or overheads, overheads sorry, have to be in, right? The next thing is the depreciation on the fixtures and fittings. So you're seeing 40% or 20%. Let me explain. So it says here, fixtures and fittings are to be depreciated at 20% per annum using a straight line method. So all we have to do is multiply this by 20%. And then they tell us that all expenses related to fixtures and fittings are to be allocated 40% to factory. So after you find 20% of 27,005, you then find 40% of that. And that'll go inside of there, all right? Subsequent to that, we put the, I put the repairs to fixtures and fittings, 4,000. And again, you're seeing 40% of that because as the note just said, and we just saw, 40% of all expenses related to fixtures and fittings go in the fact, well, manufacturing account. Okay, cool. So we're going to total the overheads and we're going to add that to the 100, 800 from above, giving us production cost. Now, we didn't have any work in process, so that was one less thing to worry about. Okay, let's just take a little pause while I rearrange my screen so we can look at the next part of the question. Okay, so part B is asking us to prepare the income statement for the year ended 31st December 2015, showing clearly gross income, net income. All right, so of course, we need to go back up to the information so we can see what goes away. All right, so we start off with sales, 278,800. Let's put that inside one time. And we have less cost of goods sold. So we're going to have to start off with the opening stock of finished goods, 66,000 there. 
To that, we're going to add the cost of production we just found from the manufacturing account, and that's going to give us the cost of the goods available for sale. From that, we subtract the closing stock of 12,700, and that's going to give us the cost of goods sold of 165,260. We subtract that from the sales figure to 7,800. That's going to give us gross income of 113,540. Now, for the expenses. So, I'm seeing office workers' wages here. And don't forget, we have the depreciation on the fixtures and fittings, the 60%, as well as 60% of the repairs to fixtures and fittings that go there as well. So let's see how those things fit in. So office workers wages, 35,000. Depreciation on fixtures and fittings. So again, it was 20% of the 27,005, and then 60% of that, and then 60% of the 4,000 for the repairs. All right, so those are the only three expenses I'm seeing. So we total that 40,700, subtract that from the 113,540 above, giving us net income of 72,840. Okay, so one more part to go. All right, so it says here, during the year ended 31st December 2015, Little People Furnishings manufactured a total of 12,900 table and chair sets. Calculate the unit cost of production for the year. The unit cost of production is the cost per unit. So we're going to take the total cost of production, which we got from the manufacturing account, and we're going to divide by 12,900, and that's going to give us approximately, right, so about $8.68 per unit. Okay, so that was it for this question. If you want to see some other videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you know every time I drop a new video. Also, check out my website for some free payaway handouts. And as usual, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.